In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basic process of installing a Windows application natively onto a MacBook using Droplet Computing. So, without any further ado, let's first of all prove to you this is a MacBook that I'm currently on and it's running the very latest version of Mac OS. Okay. Now, I'm also, I'm already logged in as an administrator. You can see the pad box is unlocked here. And I'm going to go into my Windows Explorer. And how I do that is I click on this icon here. That opens up a number of options as an administrator. I'm going to go to the Explorer tab. And I'm going to go into my documents. I already have a file here that I called install media. And I have a number of different executable files that I've already either installed or I'm about to install. In this case, the application I'm going to install is Encarta 99. Now it's not an executable file, it's an ISO image that I've downloaded. If I right click it, I've already pre-installed 7-zip, which allows me to extract the files and install them same way you would on a standard Windows endpoint device. So again, sure you have no backend servers, no UDI licenses, and no application packaging, just the install media and drop the computer, and that's all that's required. I've already done this extra extraction, and I've put the folder and the files in here. So there's my executable file, I'm going to double click on it and install it, same way you would on a standard Windows endpoint device, nothing different in any way at all. So let's double check and make sure that the application is now actually installed. Now to do that, simply click on your local disk, program files, again, same way you would on a Windows endpoint device. All the applications that I have installed are here. I want to see if Encarta has installed, and as you can see, there's a folder, and there's all the files and the DLLs that are required to access Encarta 99. So, the next thing I need to do is I need to create a tile to launch the application. So, simply reopen the container and add a tile. So, here's the tiles that I've already created. So, um, for example, Internet Explorer, simply click launch and you can have IE running natively inside a Chrome, a, well, a MacBook. Um, and there is your Internet Explorer, just to prove it is. Now, Dropbox Computing does support Chrome OS, Mac OS, Windows 10, Enterprise Linux 8, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, 8 and Ubuntu. So simply choose which operating system you want to run your applications on, get your install media, use Dropbox Computing and you can access those applications on any OS without the need for expensive back-end infrastructure. So let's look at um, creating a tile for the container. Simply add a tile and give the tile a name. Encarta 99. I type in the path for the executable file, which in this case is ENC99. Click next. Select an icon. Now I've already downloaded a number of icons. There's the Encarta 99 one. And put them in a folder inside my MacBook. So that's the file that I want to use on my icon. Simply click next, it gives you a preview of what the tile will look like, and then click finish. And as you can see, a new tile has appeared up here. I'm going to log out as an administrator. This is a view an end user gets. The only functionality an end user has is they can launch an app. They can add, modify, or delete an app. The only functionality they have is launching an app. So let's put in Carta 99 to the acid test. Let's launch it and see what runs natively on a MacBook with Droplet Computing. And as you can see, it just launched instantly. So let's look at 
Um, in fact, let's let's find operating system. Let's operating system there, and there you go. So I've just launched the operating system introduction, and there's a bit of history on Windows operating systems. So as you can see, the application just does exactly what you expect the application to do, as if it was installed natively on a, a Windows endpoint device. But as you know, this is a MacBook. So if you have an application that you'd like to access natively on a MacBook, or if you have a challenging app that's stopping you from running it on Windows 10, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to give you some advice and, and set you up with a free live trial of Proper Computing. And as always, if you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it, please hit the like button. Once again, thanks very much for watching.